Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to save the pointwise environment. What is the pointwise environment? Well, it's basically all of the settings or attributes that you've specified when working on a project minus the grid and the geometry. So that's going to include things like tolerances, your default panel settings, so any connector, domain, or basically any defaults that you've specified, layer names, we have the descriptions and the layer numbers, any saved views. So for example, in this project, I've got a number of saved views. All of those would be stored in that environment file. Any examine cuts that you've specified, grid type T-Rex boundary conditions. Uh, if I select this and I go to grid T-Rex and we jump over to the boundary condition tab, you'll notice that there are a number of boundary condition names and types that information would be stored. And then all of your CAE settings, the solver, the dimension, any boundary condition names and types that you've specified or any volume conditions, all of that's going to be stored in this file. The way to save this file is to go to File, Save Environment As. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store this or save this as external arrow. Let's say I'm working on a brand new project and it's going to be an external aerodynamics project. I've saved this environment. I want to use all the same settings. Well, I can start a new instance of Pointwise and just open that environment by going File, Open Environment. But another really interesting way to use an environment is let's say I'm working on another aircraft and I'm at some point in the project where I need to start recalling some settings, right? I want to use the exact same, say, T-Rex settings that I used in that other project. Well, I've gone ahead and saved that environment, and right now on my defaults panel, it's blank. There's nothing stored in this defaults panel. I haven't really set anything up while working on this project, but I want to make sure I'm using all the same settings. Well, I'm going to go ahead and open that environment. I'm going to click Append. Let's select External Arrow click open. Notice that it's already restored my views. So I have all of the same views, which is really nice, especially if I'm working on a small modification to the same geometry. I've got all the same views. I've got all my layers back. All my defaults now are specified, including the T-Rex defaults. The reason that's nice is I don't have a block yet. So if I go ahead and create a block, it's going to inherit all of those defaults. Now I've got my block. If I go to grid T-Rex, all of my T-Rex attributes are set up, and they're the exact same as the previous project. All of the boundary condition names and types are set up. I just need to assign the appropriate domain to the appropriate boundary condition and initialize the block using the exact same settings. If I go to CAE boundary conditions, all my boundary condition names and types are here for the solver, and I just need to assign the appropriate domain to the boundary condition. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.